So it's here. The new desktop editor for the Quad Cortex called Cortex Control, at least the beta version, is out and ready for download. So I'm on the download page for the Neural DSP and I got a Mac. So let's download it. All right, so I got it downloaded and now let's do the install real quick here. Yes, I agree. I'm going to install it on my Mac. Hit download. Install was successful. Go ahead and put that in the trash and let's check it out. Okay, so let's launch this Cortex Cloud. Now keep in mind, you've got to do an update on the OS on your Quad Cortex to make this work. So you got to do that before the app will run. So make sure you do that first. And here's and here's our app. Look at that. It looks just like the device, which I think is a great thing. So we're on our preset. You can see here we can, well, we can scroll through our presets, or we can just, we can choose. Nice. I can bring up my devices. Well, nice. Not only does it show me the controls for the devices, but it shows me the other choices if I just want to quickly switch them in and out. My captures. Look at my capture. Nice. So this is real intuitive. I can switch scenes up here. I can even, well, I can bring up gig view down here. And now I'm going to preset if I go to scene mode, go to stop mode. Nice. The nice thing is the device and the app are staying perfectly in sync. If I go over here and I tweak this, you'll see on the device, it's already showing that the preset has changed. If I hit undo, it goes back. The preset is good. Let's try the other way, because you know, on the Apero Stomp, when I made changes on the device, the app would have fits. Let's try changing something on the device. So let's go ahead here. We're going to add in a, maybe like a pitch thing. No, probably not. And there it is on my app. Let's see how quickly it keeps in sync. Let's turn it off. Turn it on. Interesting. If we bring it up here, let's change the, look at that. It is perfectly in sync. That is impressive. That is impressive that the device and the app stay perfectly in sync while you're moving around. That's cool. So let's, so for a device, Instead of a long press, what you do is I'm doing a two finger press. So basically a right click and, and then I can say assign the scenes. Nice. So that's how you do a scene assignment. So let's try creating a new preset. I'll go here, I'll scroll down to an empty slot and let's add in, let's see what we're going to do. We'll just do our good old Lone Star. And push the gain up a little bit, and the base down, and give it a little more treble. EQ up and master up a little bit. And then let's use an IR loader. Yeah. And use this one. And use the tone key. Let's say I want to go to a third line. That's, so the menu is over. So when I click on it on the left over here, it gives me my options. I'm going to go to row three, and I'll assign this one to multi output. And I'll add in a. We're doing a lone star. We'll do an Andy Timmons thing. So we'll do a roll delay. Turn off the sinks. Let me drop this one down to. I think. Oh, there you go. You click it, type it, 
That's nice. Bring the mix down to something a little more reasonable. And we'll add in the reverb. Wait, lush. Add. Nice. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> This is really nice. It's nice that you can easily interact with it. It works just like the device. Um, what if we wanted to, so if we wanted to save this, let's go here, go up here. I saved it. What if we wanted to move this to the cloud? I think there's this directory. And so if we go to the overall directory, go to my presets, we scroll down to the one we just created. And it shows it's active. Upload to cloud. I wish it would give me. Did it upload it? I did upload it. It just doesn't tell you it uploaded it. Nice. Oh, it looks like we didn't uh, we didn't say what kind of preset it is. So let's edit the details. And it's a guitar preset. Save. Now we go back to the directory. And look down to that one. Go ahead and upload the cloud. It'd be nice if, like on the device, it would tell you it's doing the upload. What else can you do from here? Well, here's how we would get the captures and IRs. So can we, well, this is great. So you can, uh, you can add in new IR straight from here. That's cool. So straight from the device here, you can add in IRs. My understanding is this is the app that you also use for the plugins once that's live. So that'll be cool. But overall, this is great. You've got access to all your controls up here. And it's the main menu. You can go to device settings. Backups. You can do backups. This is how you go to standby, many settings, disk space. This is great. Guys, I know we waited a long time for this, but I think they did a really good job. This is working great. It's very intuitive. If you know how to use a device, you can figure out how to use this. I think the only tricky part was knowing to switch to the directory, and this is how you get to some of these menus. But other than that, everything, once you click everything, it's, you're getting all this context. It stays in sync with the device 100% in real time. This is great. So uh, I would encourage you to grab it and use it. Uh, I know it's beta, but it seems really smooth, and it feels like they did a really good job on this. So kudos to Neural DSP, and thanks for watching.